Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add SEO. But before that, I'll talk about to create a responsive website in Framer. It will just take one minute or so. My name is Ashok and you are watching the Framer 101. Okay, so uh, as you can see on my screen, I have a desktop version here, right? But uh, the another thing that you can see is breakpoint. What is breakpoint? Breakpoint is something like uh, a certain width that you have fixed for your users, right? If they are coming from these devices, uh, this width of devices, then uh, the content would look like this. That's what the responsive means, right? Click here, you can create tablet, phone, or you can create your custom. If you want to create, let's say, from uh, a tablet to a smaller laptops, right? Then you can create your custom ones. But I mostly do this desktop, tablet, and phone. If you click on tablet, you will have a tablet layout here. If you click on phone, then you can have a phone layout here. All in one page, home page, you have layers in the desktop version, tablet version, and phone version. Let's say if I, uh, I have anything here, I right? uh, call it heading, right? And make it center, and I want it to be fit to content, hide also to be fit to content and I want to make it in the center, right? So as you can see, it's uh, there, but I want uh, these tablets space, uh, phone size to be 48 phone size, right? But for phone, I want it to be 64 or let's say 32, right? So this is how your layout uh, works. So if I just go and play it here, if I just do this, see, just look at this. Yeah, this is how easy it is to create uh, responsive layouts in Framer. Okay, so now you have your website ready. You have your animations, you have your layout, you have your content. So now before you publish your website, there is one thing that you have to do is SEO, right? And here, click here on the settings where you have the uh, SEO for home page settings, title, your title means you can see here Framer 101 Framer, that is the title, URL, page description means the SEO description that will uh, be like here, like I can write anything here. See, just look at this, right? That is your that. And this is your social image. If you are sharing it on, let's say any social platforms, LinkedIn or Facebook or WhatsApp, then uh, your set uh, image will be shown there. Custom code, if you uh, if you want to upload your custom code like uh, Facebook pixel, right? You can do that here. And of course, start and code, right? This is how you can add your custom code my team members page settings and all right discard changes team member team member pages right all the issues that you can do from here your general settings here all these general settings domains you can hide your domains from here and everything i'll talk about this in the next video right so this is how you do your seo you can show page in search engines show page in site search right so this is a prior step before you make your website live so that your Google can crawl your website when you apply for sitemap on Google search console, they can crawl your website and your website is far easily findable on Google search engines, right? Yeah, so that was it uh, in this video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can add domains, redirects and staging versus what exactly those things are. Right? So see you in the next one. Bye.